Hey everyone, Ms. Reimer here with Music Teacher Message. So today's video was supposed to be the DIY ukulele. I mentioned that last week. Um, and I kind of procrastinated a little bit this week, um, just doing, you know, lots of schoolwork, go figure. Um, so I was working on it and it looks like the glue needs to dry overnight before I can do the next step. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, and do a different video today so that, um, I don't like miss an upload. So the DIY ukulele will be coming at you. I don't know in a few days, I guess. Um, so I'm sorry about that. I was trying. Um, it's just, uh, the glue is just taking longer to dry than I had anticipated. So sorry. Anyway, fun video ahead for you. So, um, during this time at home, I'm trying to make sure that I do some things that I've been meaning to, and I just feel like I never really have the time. Um, and one of them is an instrument, um, that I get asked about all the time. People say like, what's the one instrument that you can't play? Cause I can play a lot of instruments to varying degrees. Um, some I'm definitely better at than others, but there's one that I've actually never played ever before. And, um, yeah, today's the day. So an instrument that always, um, kind of amuses me is the bagpipes. Um, I don't know why there's just something about it. That's, that's cool and um, I don't know it's just intriguing to me because it's it's unlike anything else that I play so a little while ago um, my mom bought me what's called a practice chanter and it's like what you use to get ready for bagpipes because bagpipes are actually very expensive um, so I don't own bagpipes themselves but I do own the practice chanter um, and it's pretty similar looking to a recorder like uh, on first glance um, but what's kind of held me up on like not learning it was I didn't have a book now I do um, and I needed a new reed to go inside of it which I have a couple right here so um, it is time to put the reed in it and um, try it out for the very first time actually. So I'm happy that you guys are here and joining me for this. Uh, let's get to it. So I've actually taken it apart. So this piece fits on in here, but the reed goes right inside. It goes like in the middle of the instrument. And then I was just washing the mouthpiece um, and uh, getting that ready because it's just been kind of sitting for a while um but anyway so it's like three basic pieces and then the fourth piece would be the reed now um being a clarinet player i'm very familiar with reeds but this is not like a clarinet reed it's closer to like a a bassoon reed um and the difference if i can get it open the difference is that um bassoons and oboes have a double reed it's two pieces of wood that are like tied together basically um and then a clarinet and a saxophone have a single reed so this is a double reed so it's like two of them and then there's this like kind of like waxy thread that's like holding them together um and then it goes in the middle here all right we're gonna give this a try like I said, I have never played this ever before in my life, um, but this is what it looks like when it's all assembled. Um, my mom had been working to find me like a really cool looking one. A lot of them are like plastic and stuff. This one is wood and it has this really pretty um, like silver carving on it. And then it's got it um, carved on the bottom as well. You can see that okay. Um, and then it's carved around here too. So anyway, um, so this is what it looks like. Now, one thing I know that I'm going to struggle with is being a clarinet player, you're told to like put the pad of your finger, like the like fat squishy part, um, right over top of the holes. And for like, that's how you'd play it if you were, you know, playing clarinet. Um, for bagpipe though, you're actually supposed to like reach too far and I know I'm gonna struggle with that because 
<laughs> for so many years that I've been, you know, like that's not how you play it. Um, but anyway, so there's one hole um, on the back, just like a recorder, and then three on the front, three in the front, and then a pinky hole. So, first sounds on this ever. Here we go. Hey, that's exactly what it's supposed to sound like. I just watched a YouTube video about that. All right, uh, so that is a G. Oops. Now, this is tricky. I got too excited, I guess. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. All right, um, time to actually get in the book. <laughs> and um, So I just learned G, A, and B. So bagpipes, like the real bagpipes, are quite loud. Um, and, you know, like I said, they're, they're very expensive. So that's why you start on a practice chanter like this. Um, and it's to get you used to, you know, blowing through the mouthpiece and getting the fingerings down and reading music and everything. And then once you kind of know if you're serious about it, then you put in the, uh, the money into like the real bagpipes, um, if you want to continue. So it's kind of cool because, you know, when you're signing up for like band or something, it's a big, you know, investment to try something that you're not sure if you're going to like, um, so, you know, it's it's kind of cool that way. This is also way quieter than like real bagpipes are. Um, yeah, so that's kind of nice while you're learning to not drive your family crazy in the process. Um, so that's cool. All right, try and play a little more. I, I watched something where they said the low G is the hardest one to get and I did it right the first time and now I'm having a little trouble with it. Mm. These holes are so tiny. I'm hoping that I'm covering them all. tonguing on this is is really interesting um again coming from you know i'm a clarinet player so usually the reed is up here and that's what you put your tongue on to like start and stop a note um and i'm not sure how you're supposed to articulate on this because anytime i try it like a lower note comes out <laughs> interesting very interesting <laughs> so um yeah, this goes on the list of things that I need to uh, spend a little bit more time on. Um, but I did want to, you know, capture my first attempt on on camera just for amusement's sake. Um, hopefully you got a kick out of that. I think this is probably a long enough video for you. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, like I said, that DIY ukulele will be coming at you soon um, once I and go ahead with the next step. So um, thank you for being here, I appreciate it, and I will see you next time, bye.